Hello, and welcome to another episode of Web 101. So far, we've gone over some of the very basic foundational elements for web development. HTML, HTTP protocol, the basics of an HTML element, um, and some of the basic tags, such as, you know, the HTML tag itself and the paragraph tag. We've got enough pieces now together that I think it's time to go ahead and try making a web page. So in order to make a web page or do web development in general, you, you at least need two pieces of, uh, or two tools. You have to have a web browser to look at the page because otherwise it's kind of not as fulfilling if you don't see what you're doing. Uh, and you need some sort of text editor to do the, uh, the, the coding. So I've mostly been using Chrome, uh, Firefox, and Safari over the past several years doing web development. Uh, Chrome and Firefox are really great cross-platform browsers, uh, and so that's what I'll mostly be working on and, and doing examples of, so that uh, if you're on Windows or a Mac, uh, things should work pretty, pretty much the same. Uh, Safari is actually my daily driver on my Mac, but because there is not a Windows equivalent of it, Apple stopped supporting Safari a couple of years ago, which is a real shame. I think it's a very fine browser. But for consistency's sake, we will do all of our examples in either Firefox or Chrome. So you also need some sort of text editor. Um, and for the past couple of years, I've been using Microsoft Visual Studio Code. It is an excellent coding text editor, and Microsoft releases it for free. Uh, it's kind of an amazing tool for uh, releasing for free, and uh, I don't want to speculate on Microsoft's uh, motivations for it, but as long as they are willing to develop it and support it, I will continue to use it. It's great. It works pretty much the same on both platforms. So again, standardizing tools across uh, different people on my team who use Microsoft uh, Windows or the, the Mac OS. Uh, it's really great because we can all use Visual Studio and um, have, a, have a pretty similar experience. So you heard me call this Visual, Visual Studio Code or VS Code or just Code. Probably I'll, I'll mostly call it VS Code uh, for sort of consistency sake. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, make a web page. So we'll start by opening VS Code. And when you launch VS Code, you'll get some sort of, oh, I forgot to mention links. Um, I will have links to all of these pieces in the show notes. So links to download VS Code, um, links to download the various browsers and that sort of stuff. So when you open VS Code up for the first time, you're presented with uh, this welcome screen. I, I usually just close welcome screen and jump into the code. Um, but one of the things is that you'll, you'll probably want to do is create some sort of folder somewhere. So however you organize files uh, on your computer, I would start by making a folder someplace. Uh, Websites, web pages, web technologies generally involve more than one single file, and it's really handy to keep all of those files together in a folder. If you have files spread out all over your desktop and your home directory and various places on your computer, it uh, gets complicated and uh, difficult to sort of link everything together. So I'm going to assume that you've created a folder someplace, and we're going to start, start there. So I'm going to... Uh, in, in this welcome screen, there's a, a nice link that just says uh, open a folder. So we're going to start by opening a folder. And I'm going to go into uh, a folder I've called Web 101. So we'll start there. And this is just an empty folder to begin with. And from this point, I can cr start creating uh, new files and, and use those for the basis of our web page. So um, fortunately, on the Mac and Windows, uh, there is still a menu bar in this uh, application. So from the File menu, I can choose New File, and it will just open, VS Code will open up a new tab for us in, in the, the main editor window here. It's usually called Untitled or something like that. We haven't saved it yet, and let's go ahead and save it right away. So I can just go to the File menu and hit Save, um, or I can hit Command-S on the Mac, Control-S on Windows, and I will come up and call this index.html. 
I want to just start out by, you know, talking through uh, the very basics of, of creating the, the, the simplest, not the simplest, but a very, very simple web page. So one of the first pieces, and again, this isn't an element, but it is a, a piece um, that we talked about in, in previous episodes was the, the doc type. And this is a hint that tells browsers, hey, what kind of flavor of HTML is this web page going to present and how should I try to interpret it as a, as a browser? Um, and so the doc type for HTML5 or sort of modern HTML is going to be just doc type uh, HTML. Um, and one of the nice things about VS Code is that it provides Microsoft's, what uh, they call it, IntelliSense. Uh, it's code hinting. So as you start typing stuff, so if I, if I start by typing my less than symbol and then I start typing the exclamation point, that's what I need for a doc type. Uh, VS Code will present this little dropdown of like, hey, you want a doc type? And I can just hit return at this point, and it will plop in all the rest of the, the pieces that I need. So it'll type out, you know, have out doc type, space, HTML, and then the greater than sign, which closes a tag. Um, this isn't really a tag. It looks like kind of like a tag, but it's got that weird exclamation point. So it's, it's the doc type, I don't know, component? Can't call it element because it's not an HTML element. Anyway, we've got our doc type out there. Uh, and so now we need to uh, have an HTML element. So we're going to open an HTML element by creating an open HTML tag. So we've got our less than symbol. And then as I start typing out HTM, uh, again, VS Code will say, hey, I bet you want an HTML element. And I can, again, hit, just hit return at this point, and it'll complete that. At this point, uh, it doesn't automatically fill in everything because I might want to put attributes or whatever in here. But I don't. I'm just going to have a uh, sort of a plain, very basic open HTML uh, tag. And so as soon as I type my greater than symbol, uh, VS Code will automatically put the closing tag on there. And my cursor is right in between. So this is really nice and handy because I don't have to type out uh, all of the text involved with the closing tag. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter to sort of spread things out here a little bit. And within my HTML element, I'm going to put more elements. So if you remember back from our last episode, the HTML element can contain only two elements, a head element and a body element. So we're going to uh, create an open uh, head tag here. And by typing out, you know, head, and then uh, when I hit that greater than symbol to close my open tag, my closing head tag will automatically pop up. I'll hit enter again to sort of give myself some space. And then within the head element, there is one required element, and that is the title element. So we will create a open title tag, and uh, VS Code will automatically create our closed title tag for us, which is super helpful. And then within the title, this is the text that will actually show up on a web page. And this is what's going to show up in um, probably the tab these days, um, since almost all browsers are, are tabbed based. But if you did, for some reason, just have a single window, it would show up in the, in the window title. And so we'll call this, you know, um, hello world. Good old, wonderful, wonderful placeholder text. So now we've got three elements that we've, we've created, an HTML element. Within that is a head element. And within that is a title element. So now I want to create a body element to hold the content of my web page. So I need to move my insertion cursor down after the closing tag for my head. I'll give myself a couple extra lines. And so this is going to be the start of another element that's not inside the head element. It's going to be inside the HTML element. So I need to make sure that I'm not typing in, in between the open and close uh, head tags. So we're going to have, uh, you know, once again, our less than symbol. And this time I want body. And then when I type my greater than symbol, we'll get the closed tag automatically put there. And then within the body, I can just type out any words that I might want. Um, so last time we looked at the paragraph tag. So let's make a P tag, an open P tag. And we'll just type in, um, you know, a long time ago. And so now we've got some, some very basic text for our page. And at this point, I want to go ahead and make sure I've saved my document. 
one of the nice things about VS Code it will it will put this big sort of like dot bullet after the name of your file in the little tab bar of VS Code. And that's sort of a visual prompt to say, hey, this file has not been saved. It's got changes in it that you might want to save. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Command S or Control S on Windows to save this file. And so now I've got a file on my computer someplace that is a very basic web page. We'll switch over to Firefox at this point and open up a page in a browser. So on the Mac, you've got menus. And so you can go to the File menu and hit File Open, or you can hit uh, Command O uh, to open up uh, a file browser and say, hey, I want to grab this index.html file that I just created in my, in my folder. So navigate to wherever you're saving files, grab that page, and uh, go ahead and open it up. And you should see a really simple, I'll go ahead and bump up the font size on this so you can see um, a really simple web page. So in the tab is our hello world. That's the title from our title element. Uh, and then in the body of the window, you can see our text a long time ago. And, you know, it's not terribly interesting at this point, but this is, uh, you know, one of the first big steps. We've created a text file. We've put some valid HTML into it, and we can see it in a browser. So, you know, that is, you know, you've made a web page. Congratulations. Okay, so the next step is let's go ahead and look at what this looks like on Windows. So VS Code in on Windows looks and works pretty much the same as you've got on the Mac. When you first open it for the first time, you've got this welcome screen. And in this welcome screen, there's a nice open folder link. And so I can click on this open folder link um, and navigate to my Web 101 folder and say, select folder. This is the folder that I want to open. It's a nice empty folder, nothing in it. And I can start creating files. So I can, again, come up to the file menu and say, new file. Um, and uh, I've got this untitled one. We can go ahead and save it. Hit Control S, bring up our save dialog box. We'll still call this index.html. And I can do the same sorts of things. So I need to put in my doc type and, uh, you know, VS Code will, will code hint that out for you and say, hey, you need a doc type. I'm going to have an open HTML tag. I'm going to have an open head tag. And then inside my head, I'm going to open a title element. And within my title, I'm going to do the same thing. Hello, world. Then I'm going to move my cursor down after my head. And still within my HTML element, give myself another couple of lines. And we'll create an opening tag for the body element. And within the body element, we'll create a paragraph tag. And inside the paragraph, we'll do our a long time ago. And so we've got our web page again. Uh, Control S to save. And then on Windows, we'll jump over to Chrome here. Um, there is no menu, as far as I can tell, to open a local file uh, on Windows. So you pretty much just have to do Control O in order to bring up the open dialog box. And then you can select your uh, file that you made and click open. And so here we can see pretty much the, the same result. We've got a tab, hello world in it. Uh, in our URL bar, we've got the location to this file. So I'm in my users folder, in this web 101 folder, and then there's my index.html. And I've got the text uh, a long time ago popping up on, on our screen here. So that's pretty much all I wanted to go over today. A little bit shorter, but um, the basics of a web page is, is that. You've got a uh, text document with some HTML markup in it, and that describes the content and structure of a web page. Once you've got that local file on your computer someplace, you can open it in a, a web browser, uh, just like it was on the internet, and see what you've, what you've written. Uh, and at this point, you've got the foundations for web development. You've got a text editor. You can just sort of like, you know, control tab over to your text editor, type away, make changes, 
flip back into the browser, just hit refresh to reload the document that you're already looking at, and you can see your changes in real time. Well, not real time, but you know, very, very quick. Um, one of the things about web development and programming in general is trying to get a really tight development loop where I can make changes and I can flip over to a runtime environment where I can see my changes as quickly as possible so that you can iterate uh, over your development uh, as, as fast as you can. So I think that's a great place to stop for today. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for next week.